The Mini Countryman is a subcompact crossover SUV with seating for five passengers and is one of the most distinctive and entertaining subcompact crossover wagons out there. Today, I'm proudly to present to you the 2015 Mini Cooper S Countryman, dressed exclusively in absolute black metallic with literate carbon black interior. For 2015, the Mini Countryman comes in four different trims level, starting out with the base Mini Cooper, the Cooper S, which is what I have here today, the Cooper S R4, and last, the John Cooper Works R4 version. News for 2015, automatic climate control and automatic windshield wipers are all standard on the base model. LED fog lights and LED daytime running lights are also standard on the Cooper S, as well as the John Cooper Works version, but are optional on the base Cooper model. The Cooper S version also adds a turbocharged engine, dynamic traction control, different exterior trims, sport front seat, a rear spoiler, as well as many other features. Now, there are plenty of other available packages as well as standalone options that you can add to it, which provide a lot of potential for customizing the Countryman, some of which include 18 or 19 inch wheels, rear parking sensor, adaptive xenon headlights, leather upholstery, a dual panel panoramic sunroof, heated front seat, an auto dimming rear view mirror, a premium 10 speaker Harman Kardon audio system, satellite radio, as well as a wide variety of exterior and interior customizing options. Up front, the first thing you'll notice is the lightning that helps accentuate the Mini Cooper S Countryman, adaptive xenon headlight with integrated LED daytime running light. Headlight also comes with black headlight housing, which is an optional add-on, but it goes really well with the black metallic exterior paint. High intensity retractable headlight washer are also built into the headlamp. At the bottom, you can see the pair of LED fog light that comes standard on the Cooper S version. And a closer look at the grille with chrome accent trim and S badging on it. It also comes with intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers with adjustable speed. Cornering lights are also integrated into the front bumper. This particular model comes with 17-inch 5-star double black alloy wheels with 205-55 Bridgestone run flat tire. Behind the wheel is the set of internally ventilated brake discs with 4-piston brake caliber for the front. The specific Countryman S fender with integrated turn signal indicator body color type view mirror and a look to the top with double black roof rails rear wheels are also 17 inches the Countryman S also comes with dynamic stability control dynamic traction control with electronic differential lock control McPherson strut front suspension with equal length drive shaft Multi-link rear suspension with aluminum alloy longitudinal arms as well as performance suspension. To the back, you also notice the tail light that comes with black bezel housing to match with the front. Tail light also comes with integrated brake light as well as integrated turn signal light. At the bottom is the aerodynamic rear diffuser that frames the dual chrome tailpipe exhaust with vents on each side. Very unique rear end. And there's the mini badge. On top is the roof spoiler as well as the third LED brake light. Okay, here I have the remote with mini logo in the middle. On the remote, I have the lock, unlock, and trunk release button. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. So as I mentioned earlier, the exterior color is known as absolute black metallic. 
And to open the vehicle, just place your hand behind the door handle and press the unlock button to open. The interior features a full leathered carbon black interior with shiny dark wood trims throughout. Very unique interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So to start the vehicle, all you have to do is insert the remote into the uh, key spot right there and wait for it to beep and press the start button to start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2015 Mini Cooper S Countryman have to offer. Under the hood is a 1.6 liter overhead cam, 16 valve inline 4 cylinder turbocharged aluminum engine with variable valve lift timing. Optional 6-speed automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted pedal shifter with sport button accelerator and steering wheel programs pushing out 181 horsepower and 177 pound-feet of torque can hit from 0 to 60 in about 7 seconds Top speed is electronically limited at 128 miles per hour in the US EPA estimated fuel economy is 25 city, 32 highway, and 28 combined Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. And here is a look at the driver's side door panel. It is all black with beautiful shiny dark wood trims. There you have the lock button. Windows controlled as well as side view mirror controlled there you have the storage compartment mini cooper s aluminum door sill aluminum sport pedal and here is a closer look at the seat Both front sport seats include 6-way manual adjustable seat with height adjustment and height adjustable headrest. The 3-spoke design sport steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with shiny trims in the middle. Looks and feel very nice. Featuring multi-function control side by side for your convenience. With control for audio, voice command, cruise control, as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Behind the steering wheel you have the up and down pedal shifter. So you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride. And there's the windshield wiper control light controlled as well as turn signal light controlled and there's a look at the instrument cluster
and another center instrument cluster in the middle. Steering wheel does feature manual tilt and telescopic steering volume. Over to the left you have the circular air vent with our shiny black wood trims as well. And a closer look at the dash. Now this particular model comes standard with 6 speaker stereo system with an in-dash CD MP3 player and AM, FM and HD radio technology. Now you can upgrade the audio system with the available Harman Kardon sound system for an additional $750 which is really not bad in exchange for a better sound quality. And there you have the menu button, mode, volume control, It is very loud and clear. So the system is pretty straightforward. Very easy to use. There you have the uh, mini in-dash CD player. Down here you have the climate control. And there you have the toggle switch for traction on and off, door lock sport mode in the fog light down there you have the storage compartment dual cup holders and a cigarette lighter and here is a look at the gear box grabbing black leather so to put the car into reverse just press the unlock button and pull down to uh, put into reverse down again for neutral and down again for drive over to the left for manual mode and that's when you can push the uh, lever up and down or press the steering wheel mounted pedal shifter to change gear very straightforward there you have the auxiliary input as well as a USB plug hand parking brake armrest as well as a sensor storage compartment beautiful wood trims on the dash glove box compartment and a closer look at the seat very nice upholstery material looks like it uh, offer plenty of support now on top here you have the uh, light control you can toggle the uh, switch around to turn it on and off you also have the light to the uh, rear passenger and as you can see you can also change the color of the uh, LED light very cool Sun visor mirror. Also have one for the uh, side. Now let's take a look at the rear seat. So rear seat offer seating for three, and it does offer the uh, split folding rear seat. Here is a look at the uh, rear driver side door panel with uh, shiny wood trims on it as well and there's the storage compartment aluminum door seal for the rear now let's jump into the rear seat and see how it is in the rear but first let me show you the look to the front cabin
very classic cabin down here you have a dual cup holder and a 12 volt power outlet now I'm 5'8 and this is how much uh, leg room I have left so I still have about 3 or 4 inches of leg room left and rear seats are pretty comfortable it is well padded as well and a look to the back headroom is not a problem for me so if you're 5 8 or I mean maybe 6 feet you still be good uh, in the back there you have the door handle gas cap is located on the driver's side it does require premium unleaded fuel only and holds approximately 12.4 gallons of fuel alright now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer so to open the trunk just push the uh, mini logo in and press the button from behind to open the trunk the trunk in the Countryman S offers 16.5 cubic feet of cargo space with both the rear seats up and keep in mind that you can fold it down into three sections for your convenience and with uh, all the seats folded down you get 42.2 cubic feet of cargo space there you have the 12 volt power outlet your mat, floor mat So you do get a uh, pretty good amount of cargo space for the back and that panel there is to uh, cover the uh, items you have inside the trunk. You can also remove that if you want. Let me show you how it looks with the uh, rear seat folded down. Just pull the string located on the side of each uh, rear seat to fold down the rear seat so this is how it looks with all seats folded and how it looks from the back overall the 2015 Mini Cooper S Countryman is a very unique subcompact crossover wagon out there with seating for 5 passengers, rear seating space of a 33.8 inch in leg room and 52.1 inch shoulder room which should be enough space for an average size adult to be very comfortable in the back. Front cabins are very spacious as well with great upholstery material and nicely dark finished wood trims throughout the cabin and here is another look to the uh, back now let's jump into the passenger seat and see how it feels in the front so I'm on the passenger seat very comfortable and I have plenty of leg room left So alright guys, that is it for today's review, I hope you guys enjoyed the 2015 Mini Cooper S Countryman video. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you guys like it. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And I'll see you guys next time. And a bonus feature for this video is uh, I'm going to show you how it like driving in the Mini Cooper S Countryman. I'm just gonna take it back to where it belong and park it but I mean this should give you an idea of how it would be like sitting on the uh, front seat